Hello everybody, my name is Jordan Ger, and this is my uh, Warhammer, well not really Warhammer tutorial creation, more like uh, showing you what I've been painting recently. So this is my uh, rocket, rocket truck squig buggy, as you can see I have, uh, so this is sort of a way of showing you that I fucking love Warhammer. But I'm not very good at painting, but I quite enjoy painting, I guess I just wanted to show it off, as you can see here. So, give me a general rundown of what we got. Currently, alright, here we go. So here, as you can see here, this uh, weird little thing, that is the orc symbol. This is the front of the orc, as you can see, car. That, squib launcher. What is a squib? Uh, hard to say, a little round red demon monster thing that just goes nya, 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 and bites your ankles and has little legs and they go fucking humongous depending. These, uh, they're called uh, umi choppers. Uh, we've got the wheels, delightful. This is just a giant vat of uh, squibs. Looks terrible. I know, first time painting a lot of this shit. I've only started like two weeks ago. So, you know, I've, I, and I say started two weeks ago. I say started painting like maybe three or four weeks ago, but I finally ordered something about uh, six days ago. Went to a place called Dark Magician, bought this for like $75. So, basically, what I'm trying to say is if you ever want something good to start off with and you really don't know where to get in, you want to be like, I want to get into Warhammer and I want to do their vehicles and stuff because I think they're really cool. This is the Orcs. This whole thing is the Orcs. They are weird as fuck, but they're really fun. So, uh, that's uh, Spikes, you know, ram the shit into it. They've got the Squib Launcher just right there. That's Squib Launcher. This mini Squib Launcher. Really cool. Orc, Orc Boy, Orc Boy. They're really cool. Um, I'd also like to say thank you uh, to my 18 subscri 8 subscribers or whatever for enjoying my garbage that I post. Now, as you can see, it's not very well painted. It doesn't have a good base. Personally, I don't really like messing with the base of it. I know some people think it looks good. The main reason is I don't have half the components I need. I barely have any of the components I need for like things like a base, like PVA glue, the sand outside of my place is just garbage, and yeah, um, this, this is, how do I explain this, this is what helps me feel less depressed and, and just like garbage throughout my life, but it's nice, I guess I just wanted to share it with some people who might listen, you know, <laughs> I've been rambling for ages, I want to sort of take you on a journey, so this first ever uh, creation, one sec, as I said, this first ever fucking creation, gorge, first ever um vehicle painting job. Dun, 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 da 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 This is the Orc Death Dread. This is their mech. As you can see, it's a bit custom made, custom I guess. Those little tusks don't actually like belong on there, but I think they look pretty good. Uh, I, a lot of purple and coral. I made purple and coral myself. Uh, with uh, gun metal and uh, scarlet purple, and uh, as you can see, the black, the copper wiring and stuff, it looks good. But this is basically my biggest, this was my biggest model I built years ago, uh, like months ago or something. It's really cool. Sort of uh, zoom in a bit. Zoom in on his face. Yeah. Bro. Hi. What's going on, Matt? What are you talking about, Matt? Hmm? Yeah, very funny, haha, ha, I know, childish. Yep, so as you can see, face mask, face plate, all done with, um... These colours... Brassy brass. Scarlet red. Wall of purple. Gunmetal. Imperial Blue. That's all I did. All I did, I just combined the colors. That's all I did. Just want more of a belt buggy. And my boys. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's a fucking... Oh, there's a lot of zoom. But yeah, this, this, is my, uh, this is my thing. This is my, uh, my thing I enjoy very much. I was going to take you... A yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you guys ever are like, if, 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 if just any of you are like, oh, I want to start Warhammer, but I feel like I'm going to paint terribly. <laughs> this is my painting. It looks like garbage. But trust me, you get better after time. Like, I didn't, I was never able to do, like, these little decals. 
um, I have a bunch of orcs up there, like, uh, like, uh, nine, yeah, nine, uh, nine, nine, eighteen orcs. Eighteen? Yeah, eighteen orcs. They look like absolute garbage compared to this, <laughs> compared to these two. But those were the things I started on, and that's good. Start on the little shit first. Start on the little shit first, because if you start on it first, you get a can for the technique, and then you can build the big stuff. Or, if you don't like the big stuff, you want something to practice on big stuff first. Or it could be both. You want to practice on both, do some of the big stuff, some of the little stuff, and then, you know, combine it. And don't ever let, don't, don't ever be like, ooh, don't let ever, anyone ever tell you the colors aren't right, because that's not fair. <laughs> uh, I'm all nervous now, because I've never really done this before, and I've been taking up way too long of your time. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, live your life, be free. Don't ever let anyone tell you what to do. And, well, yeah, don't ever let anyone tell you to do something you're not comfortable with. And you're all sick cunts. Have a fucking skid's life.